Hello to all and welcome to Josie K. Tarot's Daily Guidance Reading. For today, November 21st of 2022's reading, I've been guided to the Gilded Tarot Deck by Chiro Marchetti. And I'm going to be uh, laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless the collective with clearly defined messages regarding the 21st of November of 2022. So we do have some people here who are repeating unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles who are not being truthful and honest, or there are some who are thinking about leaving some form of situation. Yes, because in the thoughts of these collectives, uh, we do have the Ten of Swords. Uh, this is a really good card because all the swords represent sadness, worry, fear, regret, heartache, and so on. So this is when the swords start to dissipate. Uh, this is when a long and difficult path is over. Spirit sending in this beautiful, magical angel in the form of a deer saying, now you can get up more strongly and be clear uh, about the future because of where you've been or what you have gone through or experienced. Wow, I just did some personal readings and this has been in the same position for many. So in the relationship sector, we have the Ace of Wands, which is a gift from the universe in the form of passion, an exciting new passionate direction. So there are many who are thinking about a passionate and exciting person or group of people. Um, and you may be just trying to figure out how to go away from your current circumstances into the direction of victory, uh, into the direction of passion and excitement here. There are some who are wanting a passionate, new, exciting direction in a relationship, uh, but there is fear here that someone should not be trusted. And if that's the case, spirit saying the Ten of Swords are now dissipating. Now it's time to open your intuition. Remain really open uh, in with the Queen of Cups energies in the creative aspects position when it comes to spiritual guidance, right? Should I or should I not go into the direction of a new passionate and exciting beginning? Should I take action or not? In the actions position, we do have a very common card for the actions position, and that's the Ten of Cups. That is complete emotional fulfillment. That is a happily ever after. So there are some who are really hoping that a passionate new direction is going to lead them into the direction of a happily ever after. But there are thoughts and fears here regarding whether or not someone should be trusted. So in the emotional aspects position, another very common card is the Queen of Wands. Male or female, this is about setting goals and meeting goals in a very passionate and exciting way when it comes to your own journey. Uh, people start to see someone who's really focused on what fulfills them emotionally, what they're passionate about. This is when you start to be seen by others. This is someone who walks into a room because of where they've been and they're giving off that passionate energy of emotional fulfillment. I'm good. All is good. I'm following my intuition and I'm very passionate about what it is I'm creating personally. In the subconscious position, we've got another very common card, which is the world card. So there is a realization here that things need to or have gone full circle. And spirit is helping with the major arcana of the world to bring you into the direction of something new that you can be passionate about. Something or someone who's going to bring this energy of a happily ever after. So day to day, even though we feel a little worn out at this time uh, with the... Um, what was it? Waning Crescent in Libra. Uh, there is also a strong desire for harmony. So Spirit's really saying day to day, especially today on the 21st of November, we're giving the collective the strength to bring things full circle so you can move forward more passionately to bring things full circle with those who should not be trusted and to let go of all that you've learned, all that you've been through and instead go into the direction of who or what you are passionate about. For some, we've got Leo energy coming with the strength card, and that's in the relationship sector. You may be connecting with someone who has Leo in their chart, but you're fearing their devotion. Uh, in other cases, there has been maybe an air energy or something related to a business or organization that needs to end because there's just some unhealthy energy here. 
uh, for others. This is, I am going to walk in my highest, best path, and I'm not going to allow people anymore who should not be trusted. I'm bringing that to an end, and I'm getting emotionally excited about the portal of what I'm creating next. Now, in the inner strengths position, there may be some here who are uh, connecting with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, um, or this is just you know, you got Leo here, you got some air energy here and a little bit of water. Uh, main message here is that spirit with this knight of pentacles who likes to take their time and think things through. Spirit is giving the collective the strength to decipher, should I bring something full circle or you know, will it be a happily ever after? And Spirit's saying, regardless, if you're on top of your game and you're creating someone or something that you're passionate about, you're going to have the strength to follow your intuition and make the highest, best decision. This next portal could be a path of a happily ever after if you bring an end to whatever's been causing sorrow, uh, regret, or heartache. Now, in a three-card summary, we have for further confirmation and clarification, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So, uh, big and common message here with the Major Arcana, the Hanging Man. Uh, this is the ability to kind of observe today uh, what is on offer here. In some cases, there, the Four of Cups to me is an empty offer of love. In other cases, uh, this is a love coming from the universe. So there are a lot that are at a point of indecision. My ship is coming in, uh, but I'm indecisive about whether or not I'm going to be a fool with the Fool card. Whether or not Spirit's guiding me to manifest what's coming my way. Um, the spirit for many of the uh, single people have been has been telling them, you know, date uh, over the next to the end of the year. Uh, keep your heart open and connect with maybe two or three different people. Um, keep your heart open and trust that the high priestess is a very strong major arcana. I can slowly but surely create in my thoughts what I want to manifest in my physical world. I can plant seeds, goals, and intentions, and I can remain grounded in my intuition enough to not take action until I get the information I'm seeking. For some of you, you may be waiting very patiently to move into the direction of a new business or organization and spirit saying, keep on putting that passionate energy out there because eventually something's coming that you're going to want to uh, celebrate with family and friends. Something in the form of communication regarding money. Okay, yeah, so there are some worries here regarding money and home and family, but uh, there is uh, potential if you'll bring an end to what was and move into the direction of what can now be. Look at uh, male or female, we've got the major arcana, the empress. So lots of major arcanas. This is a big time to give birth to what is next, uh, to trust that spirit's helping you with the empress energy to continue to do what you're doing because right around the corner of the nine of wands is a connection with another or others that brings a lot of passion and excitement. So we do have passion coming in maybe from someone who has a hierophant energy of Taurus or, uh, yeah. There's a lot of playfulness that's developing here. It's beautiful energy during the holidays. And then we have uh, communication from someone that is very small. But Spirit's really stepping in to help the collective to rise above uh, people who should not be trusted. They're confirming uh, with the uh, Capricorn energy here. Um not that that's a Capricorn, but that the devil energy is Capricorn. Um, they cause confusion because they move rather slowly and spirits just giving the collective the strength to hang in there and wait it out. Okay. Trust that eventually for some of you, uh, what you've been waiting for or something intense uh, transpires with a Sagittarius, with the temperance angel. There's quick action, quick and unexpected action, um, but the ability to decipher uh, is this a soulmate or not? The ability in some cases to go away from an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini into the direction of water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But regardless, Spirit saying we're freeing you from something that uh, no longer serves you, a journey that may have been very painful into the direction of uh, inner peace and harmony. So yeah, there's still... A little bit of conflict here regarding what action steps to take regarding another because there's indecision about the balance of that connection. 
But uh, keep your head down. Spirit saying what you're researching in the area of money is really going to bring uh, the abundance you've been waiting for and the happiness. And in some cases, the strength to go away from someone or something you haven't brought full circle, that you haven't ended. Okay, here we have coming together and working with someone in a leadership position, someone financially abundant, stable, and secure. There could be the deciphering of the devotion of the King of Pentacles, uh, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Wow, we've got a passionate masculine looking at a new path in love. Looking at, like, maybe fire, Sagittarius or Leo, looking at a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Here we have justice, right? Marriage, commitment, partnership, and a little bit of inner conflict. It may be time to have that conversation. Some may be at, uh, receiving attention elsewhere, and now you're turning to the one you're with, and you're saying, look, you know, I've come a long way. I'm moving forward into a new path. I'm feeling stable and secure. Therefore, what are we doing here, right? It's a great time if uh, you've been in a long-term commitment to just, you know, kind of rebuild that passion. I was going to confirm and clarify with the Gypsy Oracle deck, but I'm being guided over here to the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. Now, I like to confirm and clarify, pardon me, with a tarot deck because it helps me to sometimes pinpoint certain astrological signs and or elements or confirm uh, those by which spirit is helping for me to translate for you. Yep, so at some point someone's like, heck with it. This person, I'm tired of waiting around on someone that I don't feel I can trust. Subconsciously, I am going to use the magician energies to manifest. It's been a long and difficult path with someone who's been rather manipulative. Therefore, I'm going to put time and effort into two or three newer connections because soulmates are coming in, but they're going to be hidden in an amidst other connections, right? This is a test. So which path is the right one? Which person is the right one? Which connection am I most passionate about? What is it that I'm creating here? Because I know that things are going to come full circle, that I've worked really hard to get here, and boom, here comes a financial offer, opportunity, creative results uh, that's going to help me to uh, be freed from trying to figure out you know, where I'm headed here. So financially, uh, things are to the point where we can manifest a financial direction that we so choose. And we need to really follow our intuition and get clear about what we're passionate about. Here comes that money. Again, one financial offer, opportunity, direction, or another. And Spirit saying, we will guide you to take action to go into the direction of a happily ever after. If you're someone waiting uh, for money, communication regarding money, uh, when it comes to buying a home or uh home in general, home and family, uh, spirit saying, again, uh, as you continue to remain passionate about what you are creating for yourself, again, for some in the area of money, uh, we do have wishes coming true. As we lay down a path of unfulfillment, right around the corner comes an offer opportunity or two. Could be three with the three of wands in the relationship sector, but regardless, it's there's a process of elimination happening here. If something doesn't serve me, I will continue to move beyond and manifest what does because I know there will be a happily ever after in the end. Maybe even by the end of today, we've got the wheel of fortune in the world. The realization that something did indeed go full circle and now my ship is coming in and I need to leave behind something that I just don't trust with someone, something not emotionally fulfilling because my wishes are now coming true personally. So day to day, I think Spirit's saying we're giving the strength on the 21st of December for the collective to kind of just look at things from every perspective and trust in the decisions you are making, right? Uh, karmic, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a very karmic thing. So what do I bring full circle that doesn't serve me so that a new portal can open up? Spirit's giving you the time to follow your intuition and to know that eventually your ship is coming in. Whatever you're passionate about or who, uh, if you leave behind that which is unhealthy, the wish is right around the corner. So we've got a couple energies here and I've been seeing both these energies moving around. King of fire or wands, king of pentacles. We've got Sagittarius or Leo type energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We have a very passionate masculine energy, uh, but someone who's kind of taking their time. 
So there's a little bit of fear of, has my ship come in? Someone may be choosing between two here, and Spirit's giving you the time and the strength to do so. Indecisive about maybe Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and whether or not there will be a happily ever after. So just Spirit's giving you the strength to remain passionate about what you want and to speak your truth and lay down or bring a close to anyone who doesn't uh, have the same perspective or want the same thing. Passionate feminine, uh, financially stable masculine, uh, feeling conflicted about heartache, unsure about communication, and a new path in love. Celebration. Some some may be meet someone or you did through some form of celebration, gathering. And now we have the hermit energy. Some Virgo type energy is feeling uh, no longer comfortable in a space or situation by which they used to. Or someone is feeling unsure about the earth energy of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. There's a lot of attention and recognition again and money offers coming. Uh, but in other cases, there's some fantasy and illusion about whether this is a balanced connection or not. So uh, High Priestess, beautiful common energy right now with the Fool, uh, the ability to kind of observe a situation, especially with the Hanged Man here as well, and to not make a decision until you know that you know that you know what that decision should be. So Spirit stepping in like I've been talking about with many of the collective personal readings. Uh, we've got Judgment, a Hierophant, should I or should I not come into a deeper commitment, a new chapter or marriage in my life? Because Spirit saying for some, after a moment of pause and reflection and waiting with the Four of Swords, we've got the Eight of Cups. There's this realization of who I need to walk away from. So after some time of confusion, Spirit saying have hope. There will be reasons to celebrate in the area of home and family most importantly so I'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by Doreen Virtue should these messages have resonated for you and you would like your own personal energy read feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section I am still offering the fall slash winter special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try that is a one month reading as well inner strength so today it's about a new path the contemplation of where you've been in comparison to where you're going with the master number 11 uh, you have great courage and kindness so many of you you know that you know that you know that you are indeed strong and powerful some may be not realize how strong and powerful they are but right now there is absolutely no problem that you cannot solve the compassion that some of you are giving to others must also be given to yourself. So stand strong in your convictions if the right answer is to tell someone no. Because right around the corner comes great abundance with the nine of pentacles. There's going to be a realization maybe by the end of the day today during uh, the day of November 21st that life is wonderful and that your hard work and dedication to your dreams is and will provide you with great peace and contentment moving forward. All right, so uh, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've attended the live uh, Zoom cast on Wednesdays at noon U.S. Central Time and or the live YouTube podcast Thursdays at noon U.S. Central Time. Uh, thank you so much for those donations. Uh, thank. Uh, it is only during the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays will I, where I will be offering one month readings uh, for a minimum of a $10 donation. I've been receiving a lot of requests now for the holidays, buying each other their own readings, which I think is fantastic. Uh, so if you want to do that for someone else, again, just write me at my email, josiek42 at gmail.com, and I'll walk you through that process. All right, so thank you again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.